Ever since I started coming on here on YouTube sharing tutorials on how to make gorgeous, gorgeous headpieces, I've gotten requests from a couple of us asking how they can wear headbands while still covering their natural hair. So in today's video, I'll be showing you all how to make this two-in-one headpiece, okay? A combination of turban and headband. What I have here is an Ashoki headband and a turban that was made from scratch. So if you'd be interested in knowing all about this entire process, please make sure you watch this video to the end. If after watching you enjoyed the tutorial, please do well to give me a big fat thumbs up. And also, please don't hesitate to share this video with anybody that you think will find this kind of tutorial useful all right guys let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video let's go as usual i'll show you everything you need you need your ashoki for the headband you also need a shiny lycra or poly fabric which is going to serve for our turban you also need your plastic headband of course you need your scissors i'm using this scissors right here you need your table of course for taking measurements you also need your thread snapper you need a matching color of thread you need your tailoring chalk you also need your gas lighter this lighter is what is going to help you burn off stray threads i'm going to put the dimensions for each piece of fabric that we are going to be using to make the headband okay i'm starting off with the headband bit of this tutorial you need three pieces of ashi okay and i'm going to leave the dimension on the screen as i'm doing this voiceover i don't necessarily remember the dimension but once i confirm i'm going to leave it on the screen for you so please take note i'm also going to try to leave it in the comment section as the pinned comment this is my headband after wrapping for those that are new here i have a full-blown tutorial on how you can also replicate this kind of neatness when making your own headband i know that some of us are newbies and we don't necessarily know how to wrap headbands and get you know perfect results i'm going to link that video on the screen the video that's going to teach you how to do something like this please feel free to click on it right after watching this video what i'm going to start off doing is i'm going to join my fabrics together and what i have here is my ashoki the longer piece the one that we had to cut three pieces off exactly we're going to join them together along the length okay and i'm pointing it out right here on the screen. I'm going to repeat the same thing for this, the second and the third piece of fabric. And I'm also going to go ahead to also fold the tiny piece that is going to serve as a loop for this design that we are creating this piece right here on the screen we are going to also join it together at the side on half of an inch or you could also do quarter of an inch depending on you and what you find easy to do okay now what i'm doing is i'm turning my ashoki inside out please another thing that you should take note of is because of the design that i'm creating i chose to use ashoki if you are making any of the other designs that i've made on here on the channel please use the appropriate type of fabric this particular design was what my clients requested requested and i also decided to film for you guys so if i use maybe satin in a particular tutorial please use satin as well don't feel pressured to use um ashe okay i'm only sharing this particular design of headband because it's a new design all right any design of headband can go with the turban and i'm also going to show you how to make a perfect turban so that's why you need to watch this video to the end all right so now that i was done you know turning my fabric inside out i went ahead to also do a running stitch at the center of my fabric but you guys can see that i adjusted the fabric such that the joining of these three pieces of fabric is not showing both in front and at the back of this um design that i'm creating so flip the fabric such that your joining is not showing you want your work to look really really neat and put together all right so after i was done creating my running stitch i went ahead to roll my thread around as usual for those that have watched every single one of my tutorial you know i've done something similar to this previously so you roll your thread around the center such that you get a perfect bow all right for those that don't know what i'm talking about please pay close attention if you made it up to this point in the video please don't forget to hit the like button that button helps youtube spread my videos to a wider audience and it also gives me feedback okay it lets me know that you guys enjoyed watching anything that i put on here on the channel and if you're yet to subscribe as well please do well to subscribe i hope you guys have not gotten distracted i hope you saw exactly what i did if you didn't see please feel free to rewind as many times as possible so you get everything that i'm doing so this is me just rolling my thread around the center and once i was done rolling my thread i also went ahead to secure my stitch and with securing my stitch please watch what i'm doing closely after securing my stitch the next thing i went ahead to do was to 
tied up my thread as usual and after tying it up as well i went ahead to cut off the stray thread and i'm going to show you guys what the end result is supposed to look like if you did everything appropriately this is what it's supposed to look like okay all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to turn this my loop inside out and once I was done turning it inside out okay this is what it looks like i adjusted the stitch so that the joining is at center i'm now going to go ahead to sew it along the is it the width yeah so after doing that as well i turned it inside out and this is what is going to serve as the loop for the design that we are creating for this portion i had to speed through because it was quite difficult for me to turn inside out i don't know why it took me so long but after i was successfully able to you know turn the loop inside out i went ahead to pass my um three in one design in between the loop just so the loop can be at the center and everything will look gorgeous for this portion things might be a bit hard but just try your best to be patient and pull the loop and make sure that the loop is at the center of the design that you created so that everything looks nice and pretty okay patience is a virtue for this kind of project okay so i had to speed through just to show you guys how i went about it but trust me it took it it took me quite a number of seconds okay so it wasn't as fast as it looks on the screen and now that i was done you know successfully placing my loop at the center this is what my design looks like all right all right so i went ahead to just use my fingers to just adjust things here and there make sure that everything looks aesthetically pleasing and once i was done it was now time for me to attach this design to my wrapped plastic headband and here i was just trying to figure out where i wanted to place my design and once i was able to decide that i went ahead to grab my glue gun and then i plugged it in and allowed it get hot for a few seconds and once that was done i went ahead to attach the design onto my wrapped plastic headband i didn't show that piece i don't know how i didn't press record on my camera but yeah i believe everything is self-explanatory for us all right so now the next thing i'm going to do of course is to do my hand stitches we know as a rule of thumb on this channel that we don't depend on glue we love using glue but we don't depend on it all right so i'm going to just grab my needle and thread and then do some stitches to make sure that my work is properly secured and nothing is moving around and when my client goes ahead to wear a head piece she doesn't have any wardrobe disaster and once i was satisfied with how well i had done my hand stitches and everything looked nice it was now time for me to move on to the next stage but for this portion of the video i'm just showing you guys how i went about doing my hand stitches okay just for those that are usually curious to know how i do my hand stitches hand stitching requires a lot of patience so you don't do something that is not neat okay and i try my best to make sure that my hand stitch is invisible with this it takes practice okay so the more you do you know you create headband designs you start to know what works Works for you and the kind of designs that you're creating but once i was done doing my hand stitches i went ahead to cut off my straight thread and this is what my design looks like i could have stopped here but you guys know that for me is extra so i had to get my flat bottom um embellishments and i went ahead to stick them on to my design for those that are new to embellishing and all the embellishment entails i have a video where i shared my embellishment collection and how to decide which type of embellishment to use for which type of project if you've not seen that video i'm going to link it on the screen please feel free to check it out so you get to also be up to speed with everything that we are doing on here on the channel i'm trying to grow an army of business women okay especially women that are looking to start business similar to what i do all right so please feel free to check out those videos they are very useful and they are sure to you know impact you with some form of knowledge anyway now that i'm done saying all of that this is me just showing you how i went ahead to apply glue and stick on my flat bottom um stones with this you need to be patient so your work looks neat so you don't have you know glue showing all over your work so the next thing we're going to be working on now is our turban i have a couple of turban tutorials on here on the channel but for the sake of my updated you know way of making turbans i thought to show you guys how i made this turban this fabric right here is what we call shiny poly it's soft poly as well because we have the really thick poly so when you go into your fabric shop ask them for shiny soft poly when i was done cutting out the dimension that i need i hope you guys took notes earlier i showed you the dimension of each of these fabrics if you didn't see please rewind and be sure to see the dimensions i'm also going to try to leave it in the pinned comments as well this is me just placing my fabric as i would love it to be to get the result that i'll be getting so if you didn't see as well please rewind i'm just using my pins here to secure the fabric after i place them how i would love them to be at the end of the day so with this as well you just need your pins take your pins secure your fabric in place and once you're done securing it 
effectively and you are sure that the edge of everything is matching, you're going to take your um, fabric to your serger or your interlocking machine, not your sewing machine. If you use a sewing machine, the fabric is going to lose its stretch and you might not get the same results that I got. All right. So I missed some footage, but what I've done so far is I just turned my fabric inside out. I left a little bit of space at the side, as you guys can see, and that was where I used to turn my fabric inside out. Please don't forget to go ahead to secure the portion that you left open this is what the interlocking looks like inside the fabric i don't even know how i forgot to show you guys but yeah once i was done securing all the open spaces i went ahead to fold my fabric into two like so and then i went ahead to draw a curve that curve is what is going to give us the gorgeous gorgeous turban look if if for any reason you don't find this um tutorial detailed enough let me know in the comments and then i'll make another dedicated video show you guys my updated way of making turbans but trust me guys this new way is going to give you fantastic results anyway at the portion where i drew my curve i went ahead to take my fabric to my serger and then i searched the or I interlocked that entire portion of my fabric and it gave me fantastic results. I don't know how I lost a lot of footage in this particular video, but like I said, just in case things still don't look, you know, clear to you, let me know down in the comment section and then I'll make an updated turban tutorial for us. But I also went ahead to use elastic at some point and then I used it to secure my turban. This is what the headband looks like without the turban, but just in case you are one of these people that like to cover their hair and they don't like to show their natural hair, I got at you you just have to first of all wear your turban and once you're done wearing your turban you now go ahead to place your headband on top of it and if you've done every, everything correctly this is what the end the end result is supposed to look like i would suggest that you also use a matching color of turban with whatever headband that you made so if you made a pink headband get a pink fabric and make your turban and then wear the two together okay so you can decide maybe on days when you want to open your hair maybe have a party and you don't want to cover your hair you can decide to rock just the headband and if it's on a day maybe you're going to church or for any form of spiritual gathering you can decide to wear your turban before wearing your headband i hope it all makes sense if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please do well to give me a big fat thumbs up and, I, and like i said again if you want a an updated turban tutorial let me know down in the comment section i'll be very happy to share with you all also if you made it up to this point in this tutorial and yet to subscribe to this channel please do well to subscribe i have loads and loads of awesome awesome tutorials coming your way so you don't want to miss out and make sure you turn on your post notification as well so you'll be the first to know every single time i post a new video thank you guys so much for clicking and watching up until this point i really really appreciate you all and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another video bye